Hey guys, Chris from Fast Eddie Co. Uh, I just wanted to talk about cam gauge pins. So I feel like this can be intimidating for some people, um, but it's really not that bad. I feel like it's just never been explained properly. So let me give it a shot and then uh, see if you guys see if you guys get it. Cause it's really simple and it's just an important step to make sure your bottom ends uh, set up correctly. Basically uh, cam gears, the sizes, from manufacturability just can vary slightly, you know, from cam gear to cam gear. And the same with the pinion gear that, that it meshes with. So you can see this crank, right? Like the pinion shaft has a pinion gear put on it, right? And that drives the cam gear. Um, these can vary a little bit in size too. And so they color code them with a paint dot to signify the size. And you just need to make sure that you're running the right size for your cam gear. All you're using the pins for is to measure your cam gear um, you're measuring the pitch diameter of the cam gear effectively, and you're selecting the right color code of pinion gear. It's that simple. So you just measure opposite <clears throat> teeth in the cam gear uh, with a micrometer, look at that measurement, and then look at the chart that's in every service manual. Page is falling out of my quality shovel head manual. And then select the right color code of pinion gear. That's it, super simple. Um, the Fast Eddy Co. gauge pins come with a little case as opposed to a Ziploc bag that will develop eight holes in it. Um, so you'll actually maintain them in your toolbox when you need them, they'll be there. Uh, they are also 100% made in USA, hardened, uh, certified class Z gauge pins. And the sizes are etched on them. Uh, there's only two sizes. You need the 100, uh, 105,000 size for anything 89 and earlier. For 1990 to 99 Evos, use the 108,000 size and just use the Use the color code chart that's in your service manual, or even better, in the eye sheet that I put together that's attached to this webpage to make it really easy to make sure that you're running the right size pinning gear um, for your cam gear. <clears throat> because if they're set up a little bit too loose, they can go clicky clack and actually sound a lot like bad lifters when your lifters are fine. Um, and when they're set up too tight, they can really loudly whine and lead to some premature wear um, so it's better too loose than too tight, but neither one is preferable when you can just measure the cam gear and select uh, the right pinion gear. If the paint dot happens to be worn, usually it's preserved in these old motors. You can tell what color the pinion gear is. Uh, this, this one, it's worn off, I can't tell, but that's not a big deal because you can use the same gauge pins to measure this gear and look at that number in the table and, and see what color code uh, the pinion gear is. But that's all you're doing, measuring the gears, look at the chart, Make sure they're right for one another. That's it. And then make sure it'll make sure that your bottom end is put together because if it is put together right, uh, it'll last forever. So anyway, good luck dudes. See ya.